learners, today we are going to continue to learn some more basic strokes. So the first one is called oboe. It it's almost looks like a letter O. So it goes like this. So you start from with a thin stroke, and then since you're going downwards, to do it very thick, push down, then go upward, and then make it thinner, and close it. This is called an oval stroke. So let's try it again. So start thin and go down thick, then turn it back up, turn thinner, then close it. Let's try it one more time. Press, lift, and close. Press, lift, close. So this is an oval stroke. So next one, we are trying to do another one. It kind of looks like a letter P, but it's not letter P. It's just a part of a letter. It is called ascending loop. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at it first. So it starts from this dashed line and go upward thin, then turn and go downward thick. Let's try one more time. Upward thin, downward thick. You can make this loop a little bigger if you want. So upward, thin, downward, thick. Let's try one last time. It's called ascending loop. So upward, thin, downward, thick. Okay. So next one, it's kind of like upside down of this ascending loop. It's called a descending loop. So if it's upside down, if you, you actually go downward first, and then go upward. So this one, we start from the dashed line and it has to go under this red line, then go up. Let's start. So start from here, go really thick, then turn, we turn back and then make it thin. It kind of looks like letter J, right? Let's try several more times. Down, thick. Up, lift, thin. Thick, turn, thin. One more time. Thick, turn, thin. The next one is also called descending loops because it's the same thing. You just go down, but the only difference is when you go up, you go from the other side. Almost looks like a letter B, but it's not letter B. Uh, it's just part of a letter. It starts from the dash line again. So you go downward really thick and when you go up turn from this side and close it let's try it again so downward turn close downward turn close and downward turn and close okay so these two are both called descending loops now let's try some other strokes that we need. But they don't really necessarily have names, but they're kind of important parts of our letters. The first one looks like letter C. So, so you go right first, then once you turn, you go downward and go really thick. Then you go up, make it thin. Kind of like this. So let's try again. Up, down, up. Thin, thick, thin. Thin, thick, thin. Okay. So next one, we use this mainly for a letter S. So it's kind of like a downward stroke, but kind of turn back. So it goes like this. It's a shorter one. So you push down, but you turn a little bit. Then once you're down, you turn like this. Since you're turning upward, so it's Thin. Let's try it again. So push down, turn, turn up, thin. Thick, thick, up, thin. Okay. So the last one is kind of like a connecting stroke. Like this. So we use this a lot for, like for example, for letter O. Up and down and close. It's like an oval stroke, right? Then you add this little tiny connecting stroke. So that's how we use this kind of stroke in our letter writing. Um, you have learned all the basic strokes, so I will see you next time. Thank you.